I'm Square Peels and I'm going to be showing you how to make it through in the harshest of environments when knowing what to do in life or death situations is vital for survival. Today I'm going to be thrown into one of the deadliest, most inhospitable places on earth. Uh, oh no. Here I'll be demonstrating some unique techniques to help you out if you happen to find yourself here. Currently being put into Southern Australia's sacred forest land, known to the locals as Fort Hell. It obviously looks like a hellish place, so that's obviously where it got its name from. Here I'll be facing all kinds of stuff that'll be hard not to die from. Like, I'll seriously be needing to use all my skills if I'm going to have any kind of chance. Like, I could seriously die. I might actually be killed. Alright, um... Alright, my film crew is going to be coming with me. Alright. Are we uh, supposed to come with him? No, I don't know. We'll leave him to it. Oh, oh Jesus. Jesus. Alright, let's, let's go. Oh man, this. We look, this place has just been known to have little to no life here. What the hell? This is due to the um, minimal food and water resources available to sustain life. Um, it's, it's, people don't realise, like, it's, it's, it's quite hard to keep track of time. It's quarter past two, mate. Yeah. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus! Stop, stop, stop. Do you see that? I don't know if you can see that, but... Just there, that's one of the dangerous Shinnana flowers. These things are quite aggressive. They're only found in southern parts of Australia. They, they are aggressive little buggers. They do all types of shit. People die from these. Alright, I'm actually going to see if we can just get past it. It's going to be hard. Alright, in three, three, two. Actually tried to pounce them. It actually tried to kill us then. We're actually quite lucky we got out of that situation then. Fire out. It's a bit of action for you there. Jeez. Alright. Every year in southern Australia, survival noobs get killed from underestimating the deadly power of these Shinana flowers. This is just how the Shinana can be so deadly. It tricks things into thinking it's just a plain flower that is harmless, and then pow, bam! His prey will be killed within seconds without ever knowing it was in any danger. Now obviously anywhere you are, hydration plays a huge part in survival. Especially here where the sun's so vibrant, so hot, powering down on you. Um, the sun's surface temperature is 5,500 degrees Celsius. That's, that's hot, that's real hot. And it's good if, if you ever find a place like this, take advantage of it. Nice shade, keeps you cool, no sun on you. Chill back, nice and cool. Um, my first grade teacher always used to tell me that these things, like, if you just put them on your head like this, chuck them on your head, what this does is keeps the sun's UV rays off you, like, to keep you cool. Um, yeah, it just keeps you nice and cool. Alright, let's go move. Shut up, shut up, shut up! Jeez, shut up! See, I'm not sure if you can see that. That's a rare snuck eye dye tree. These trees are very, very rare. I'm actually going to see if I can climb over and get it. Just pass me that other camera there. Right now, the secret to climbing trees is to find trees with a lot of branches, and as you can see here, this one has got a shit load, so it should be fairly easy to climb. Um, I'm a fairly good climber myself, so it should be no problems. Um, yeah, one of the secrets when, um, another, another secret when climbing trees, is just never let go of the branches, because if you do, you're likely to lose balance, but you fall and you may possibly die. 
Like you could seriously get killed if you fall. So, what I'm doing here is just grabbing the branches. Jesus. Shit. Oh, shit. What I'm doing here, I'm just grabbing the branches, putting my legs on the branches, and then pulling myself up by my legs. I mean, pulling myself up by my arms. See, if you, see there? There it is. The famous snuck out Let's See if I can get him. Jesus. Grab. Oh, there we go. Snuck out tars. Oh, for salt and salt and vinegar. Hit the jackpot here, boys. Right, just drop him down here. Don't want to carry him down. See if I can drop him down. I don't know, about here. Yeah, they fit the ground there. Right. Alright, that was actually a pretty successful climb. Um, that's the thing about climbs. Um, great climb, get a great reward. Especially here, I've got some nice, hopefully nice, snucker tires here. Let's see what I like. It's on vinegar snucker tires. The famous snuck out tree. Alright. Oh, shit! Oh. That's, that's disgusting! Oh. Oh. oh! It's not good. That is not good. Snuck out tires. That's one for you. That's a trick. Trick of the trade. These are shit. Uh, I guess. It, doesn't really matter if they taste bad. A bit of vitamins, minerals, and salt. So, yeah, get me through. Hopefully. Um, oh god, that's not good. That's really not good. Oh jeez. All right, let's get going. Couple years ago, actually, excuse me. Couple years ago, I actually had a close friend that was out here exploring these parts, and he actually had to resort to eating himself alive to survive. That's what happens when you're not good enough at surviving and you don't um, prepare yourself. Number one rule when surviving, prepare yourself. If you don't, you're probably going to die. Something that I learned at SAS when I was there that if you ever find yourself thinking you're vulnerable to any like dangerous animals in the environment, um, if you ever, like, yeah, just pine cones. They are a very efficient way to block off your human scent to them. If you're holding a couple of pine cones in hands, the animals around you, they won't be able to smell you and they'll only be able to smell the pine cones. So, we'll just see if we can find any around here. Um, oh yeah, here we go. Some in the tree here. Just see if I can knock them down. Down. Now, what you do, you hold them in your hands and you just kind of wave them around a bit. Can't move, whatever. And then, then you fat if you, yeah, just kind of. That way, the animals will only be able to smell the pine cones and they won't find you. Yeah, it's alright. Let's keep moving. The best way to find civilization is just to use Google Maps on your iPhone or iPod Touch. It's a free app from the iTunes store, it doesn't cost anything free. Um, yeah, it's just the best way. I was just using it before, you told me that closest civilization is that way. A couple meters that way, a few hundred meters that way, and I will find civilization. Foothill has provided me with its own unique challenges that have pushed me to my limit. Um, oh yeah, yeah, about before those snuck guitars, they actually taste pretty good. They're very nice, that was just a joke. Um, yeah, they're very good. I suggest you go buy some right now.